Are you thinking of taking a trip to Italy? Well, in this video, we're going to tell you what you should not do in Italy and why. And most importantly, stay tuned until the end because we're going to give you a bonus tip that can make your vacation that much better. Absolutely. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, I'm Rick. And I'm Andrea, and today we will tell you all the, mis all the mistakes you should avoid when traveling to Italy, and why you should avoid them. But first, if you like travel-related videos, now is the great time to write a little subscribe button below so you'll never miss any of the future videos. That's excellent advice. So let's begin with our first of things that you should not do when visiting Italy. So number 10, do not overpack. Right. If you're planning to visit several cities in Italy, maybe taking trains or other transportation, you have to think that you will have to carry your bag with you. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, you will have to carry them up or down a few sets of stairs. Mm -hmm. So bringing big, bulky heavy bag is not a very good idea. That's right. And oftentimes, elevators are not in service. Exactly. So. All right, so for number nine, bring some cash. Folks, in Italy, credit cards aren't taken everywhere, so it's important to have a little bit more cash in your pocket than you're used to. Uh, you know, not even, some restaurants don't even accept credit cards, even, even though they should. Yeah. Um, if you find yourself out of cash, just go to one of the ATMs and use your bank card. Uh, and on the same topic, remember to take some change with you when you go to an Italian city, because most of the times uh, bathrooms charge either 50 cents or one euro, and there's going to be a machine at the gate that uh, takes the change only. And doesn't give you change either. That's right. Number eight, dress appropriately. In most churches, including Vatican in Rome, you will have to wear clothes that cover your knees and your shoulder. Otherwise, you will not be able to get in. So keep this in mind when you get ready in the morning to go out and explore. Mm -hmm. On the same topic, wear comfortable shoes. Chances are you will have to end up walking a lot, yep. most of the time with very uneven surfaces. So comfortable shoes are a must have. Yep, I totally agree. And you know, on our last trip to Rome, we were there for three days. We walked 25,000 step, steps a day. All right, folks, for number seven, do not order a cappuccino after 12 o'clock. Guys, in Italy, cappuccino is a breakfast item and eating it after lunch or drinking it after lunch, you know what? I I like to, but um, they're going to look at you really crazy. By the way, if you're interested in Italian coffee, we've got a cheat sheet and it's in the description below. Absolutely. And number six, don't expect to use the bathroom at coffee shops. Coffee shop bathrooms usually are for customers only. Yeah. So if you need to use the bathroom and you have to buy something, maybe coffee, more water or something. For the same thing applies to hotels. Bathrooms are for client of the hotel only. That's right. Number five on the list, dinner time is at eight o'clock and it drives me crazy because I like to eat at like six or 6.30, but folks in Italy, people eat at eight. Restaurants also open around 7.30 and uh, they're usually closed in the afternoon between 2.30 and 7.30. If you happen to see a restaurant that's open during that time, chances are they're a touristy restaurant and you're probably not gonna have a very authentic Italian experience. By the way, if you wanna learn a little bit more about authentic Italian food, check this video up here. Absolutely. Let's go to number four. Book your hotel strategically. When you book a hotel in Italy, and it's in a city, try to book right in the city center. Yeah. It might seem a little bit more expensive, but trust us, you will save a lot of money in taxes and commuting. Mm -hmm. Most Italian cities like Rome, Naples, Florence are very walkable. So if you book an hotel right in the city center, you can walk pretty much everywhere. From there, saving you time and money in taxes and transit. Yeah. Not only that, some attraction can get really, really busy. Uh, so if your hotel is walking distance from the attraction, it can be there first thing in the morning, beating the rush hours. And you will miss the attraction with very few people. Yeah, so keep that in mind. That's, that's really good advice. Folks, number three on the list, don't expect everybody to speak English. Just remember this, the older generation doesn't speak English. And it's particularly true if you visit less touristy air areas. Um, for example, if you visit the countryside or less touristy towns or cities, chances are 
you're not going to find many people that speak English. But Italians are very friendly and they will do their best to try and help you. Um, but you might have to improvise with your hands. <laughs> Number two, don't mix your food. <laughs> Italians are very proud of their food. And dinner conversation on the table usually revolve around food. Mm -hmm. So for this reason, Italians are particularly picky in how the food is served and eaten. Mm -hmm. You will never, ever mix food in the same plate in Italy, unless it's meant to be. <laughs> the biggest no-no in Italy is put your salad on the same plate with pasta. <laughs> Seeing salad dressing contaminated with pasta sauce is something that would kill any Italian grandmother. Trust me, don't do that. Mild exception to yeah. this rule, okay. you can put the potatoes on the same plate with your meat mm. dish. That's acceptable. Because the potatoes are dry. Absolutely. How food is served in Italy then is it can be a topic on for an entire video. We'll probably have to make a video about that in the future. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, stay tuned for that. Now, number one on the list, folks, avoid all tourist traps. And this is true all over the world, not just in Italy. And if you travel halfway across the globe to Italy, why not immerse yourself in the local culture? Um, for this reason, you know, focus on things that are local. Try and avoid those souvenir shops filled with stuff that's made in China anyway, right? Exactly. And now for the bonus tip. You remember we told you about the most important thing you have to avoid when visiting mm -hmm. Italy? Well, this is it. So don't try to see everything in one <laughs> shot. It's not possible. <laughs> if you think that you can see Rome, Venice, Florence, Cinque Terre, Pisa, Tuscany, Amalfi Coast, Pompeii in two weeks, <laughs> think again. This is not possible. Even if you manage to see 10 places in 10 days, you won't really experience anything. No. You will simply be too tired to soak in all what you see. For this reason, try to spend at least three nights in large cities, like Rome, for example, or Naples. This way you can enjoy without being too tight on a schedule. Yeah. If you want some ideas on how to build your good itinerary in Italy, drop us a message in the, in the comment below, and we'll try to see what you can do to see the most possible in the last month of time. And we'll be happy to help you. Absolutely. We're always happy to help. Folks, um, we hope you enjoyed this top 10 list of things you shouldn't do in Italy. And uh, we really look forward to seeing you again in a future video. Sounds good. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.